Hello everyone, this is Spencer from Builderpreneur, and if you're watching this video, you're interested in ConvertKit. You're wondering, is ConvertKit the email automation software for you? And I'm gonna give a full disclosure, the majority of my business runs on ActiveCampaign, okay? It's run on ActiveCampaign for over a year now, and I love ActiveCampaign, but a lot of people have asked me about ConvertKit, and so I signed up, I created an account, I've done some email automations and stuff, and uh, and, and just wanna explain exactly how it works, and I'll even do some comparisons to show you how ActiveCampaign works uh, as well, so you can decide you know, between the two. Um, first off, they're both great <laughs> softwares, okay? So I am very unhappy with AWeber, if you're there, don't like them, MailChimp, don't like them, get response, meh, um, but both ConvertKit and ActiveCampaign, totally happy with, okay? Um, so, been in here for a while, and the thing that I think I've noticed the most, and I like the most, is that ConvertKit is super, super simple, okay? Probably the most simple email automation software that doesn't suck, okay, that there is to use. Um, and so, we're going to dive in and just look across the different things and, and, and explain to you just, just what I'm talking about here, okay? So, we're going to start with forms. A form is basically just how somebody gets in, you know, how an email address is captured. You need a form to capture an email address, and we'll just create a form and we'll go from there, okay? So, it will be a little slow. For some reason, my internet's always slow when I'm recording. I don't know what, I don't know the relation between me recording and my internet being slow, but it is what it is. Okay, so you can easily just create a form or you can look at old forms right there. It's got um, some form templates here that'll pop up. So you can create a landing page or just a simple form that's like a pop-up on your website. And we'll look at the landing page real quick. Okay, so they've got some basic landing pages, and this is the first thing to notice, okay, is, is they don't have a ton of options. They're just very simple. You know, these are these are pretty simple forms that, and landing pages that you see all over the internet, um, and there's not like 50, 100 options or whatnot um, because this isn't their bread and butter is forms. So they've got four, and then with the, uh, what was the other forms it was showing us? With the uh, pop-ups, same thing. There's like two or three options, and you, and you go from there, okay? So basically a form is just what you can put on your website or a landing page you can send someone to to capture their email address and go from there. Um, the next thing we're gonna look at is automations and we'll dive in a little more to automations than on forms, okay? One thing I like about them, you can just see they're well laid out and once we dive into an automation, you'll just see how, uh, how simple they are to use, okay? We're gonna look in this one right here. Okay, and if you're not using email automations, use them. Basically, we, we describe how someone got into this automation. So what form did someone fill out to start this automation? And then we just explain what's gonna happen. They have events, they have actions, and they have conditions. An event, as you can see, is if we add a tag. So somewhere else, maybe someone clicks on something and we tag them. Um, if a tag is added, we might wanna trigger an automation. Um, same thing with the tag being removed. We could have a date-based thing if we're doing webinars or things like that, or customs fields. The next thing we could do is after an event, we would want to have an action. So we want something to trigger, um, and then we want an action to happen. Do we want to start an email sequence, which is a group of emails that will try to sell them or build value or create a relationship with them? Do we want to add a tag? You know, and that tag might start another automation. Do we want to make a delay? Like, okay, they've done this. Now we want to wait a few days, give them time to digest or whatnot. Or do we want to move them somewhere else? Okay, and then we can set conditions. Like, only do this if they already have a tag. For example, only do this if they've already been tagged as a buyer or they've already heard about this. You know, they've already read this email or they've already clicked this link. Then you can move on to this. So very simple. Those are automations, right? And uh, so typically you'll probably do an email sequence. You'll say, hey, I want to trigger this email sequence when someone enters this form, okay? So now we'll look at email sequences. Um, same thing, very, very simply built out. And same thing, my internet's still slow. Okay. So cool, you can see some stats and stuff there. We're just gonna look at uh, my sequence and go from there. Okay, so as you can see, these are the emails in the sequence. We can choose um, in each email, we can write the email here. It doesn't have like a vast number of templates like some of those you'll see like in MailChimp and things like that where you can make them all beautiful and whatnot. Um, you know, that's not ConvertKit, they're simplified. But you could choose things like, hey, I want this to only go out, you know, Monday through Friday when open rates are higher. I want it to go out, you know, at these times when open rates are higher. So you can do that, which is very, very important. Um, and you, you can kind of like dive in and say, you know, exclude from certain people. For example, if you're sending out a sales email, you can say, hey, exclude this from anybody that already purchased, which makes sense, right? Um, and, and so you can see good settings. And the second thing is cool reporting. 
So you can break down reports very, very easily. You can you can identify kind of weak spots in your email marketing. So this is that same automation or, or that same sequence we were just looking at. You can see open rates, <clears throat> click through rates, and you can just look through really quickly and say, okay, look, he's got a weakness in this email. It's got a low open rate and a really, really low click through rate. So maybe that's an email worth rewriting. Okay, and you can say this one's got a high click through rate. That's my first email in the sequence, which is a little more typical because I'm delivering what I promised to deliver. Um, but anyway, you can get a really, you can really quickly look at your stats and say, hmm, these two emails could probably be improved upon. Okay, this one could definitely be improved upon right here, and just really quickly make some edits. And then once again, you can just look at the quick content editor. Very, very cool. Very, very easy to quickly write your email and what you see, what you get kind of environment here. And then of course you can preview in how it would look in a browser kind of like this or how it would look in an actual email inbox also cool okay and then of course i forgot you can add different filters which is like hey um you know i want people to have people that have done this action or people that haven't done this action people that have opened this email all kinds of cool things that you can add to the email so that's a sequence okay <clears throat> so really simple automations automations often trigger sequences which are your actual emails that you send out and then you can do simple broadcast as well and i've sent out i think one or two of those Okay, let's look at a new broadcast here. As kind of is their standard here, you can you can do simple things like you know segment your list based on who they are, actions that they've done, tags that they have on there. So you can see I can do matches like this. I can say, hey, only people that you know have this tag, I want this to send to. So maybe when someone buys a product, you can tag and say, now I want to send emails to people that have bought that product. Um, so lots of cool things that you can do, and then. Same thing, we'll look at content here, and very similar to the uh, automations that we were sending out. It's a kind of what you can see, what you can get editor, and they've got very few templates. So once again, just very simple. This is just a simple email platform that is great for someone that's, that's somewhat new to email automation and they wanna be able to do you know things that are important, but they don't want a bunch of like confusion out there. Now, what I would say is, the difference between this and Active Campaign is Active Campaign is a little more complicated. I wouldn't say vastly more complicated, but it's a little more complicated and it has a lot more options, okay? Um, so for example, if we go look at like specific subscribers, so a lot of times you wanna dive in there and just see what people are doing. Let's have a look here. So let's say I look at this guy. Um, I'll have to be editing out all of this information so you can't actually see the email addresses, sorry. But you can see like, oh, they've been emailed these you know, they've been um, emailed this email, they've been in these sequences, and they've filled out these forms, okay? So a pretty simple thing. If you look at active campaign, you can see every email, every tag, everything they've clicked, you know, basically every action they've done, every, you know, if they visited your website, you can actually make it so you can see who's visited your website and things. So there's kind of just a lot more, it's a lot beefier on what it can do in active campaign. And obviously, if you're going to add that many options, there's going to be a little more complication. So they do it simply, but it, you know it is what it is. Same thing with automations. You can see that there's a, you know, there's four or five things that you can do in each automation here. Um, you know, you can really the important things. That's what I do like about ConvertKit is like the really important ones, the ones you're going to use 90% of the time. Totally an option. Um, but if you if you want, you know, every once in a while you might want something outside of this. And an active campaign can do that. So, for example, active campaign can can go go find your contact. It can find the time zone they live in, and it can send them emails based on their time zone. Maybe that's overcomplicating it, but maybe that's what you want to do, and it probably will help help your open rates a little bit. Okay, and so just some examples of like of, of how ConvertKit compares to active campaign. ConvertKit, if you're somewhat new. Um, or you just want something simple, okay? You don't want to have this like overcomplicated, crazy looking automation that goes all over the place and really, really personalizes it. ConvertKit is a great option. Very simply set up, very simple to see, very simple to see report and identify, you know, mishaps in your email. Um, really a good software. And I, I sent out some test emails, as you can see. Um, good deliverability, 20% is kind of like right on cue with, with what you would expect uh, in, in the niche that I sent out these emails to. And so... Um, it's a reliable email service that you know does what it says it will do and and does it simply and easy to use. Um, so definitely would recommend ConvertKit if, if that's what you're looking for. If you're looking for something with a little more beef and gumption, uh, I have an active campaign review on my YouTube channel as well. Head over there and watch that. Um, there's links to both down below and uh, and go ahead and click those and and 
you know, you can you can make the decision that's best for you and where you're at in your email marketing. Um, email marketing is so awesome. I'm not going to hammer on it, but but if you're not using it in your business, sign up for an autoresponder and just get using it because uh, so much power with a, with a good email marketing automation. Well, thanks for watching. If you've kind of enjoyed what you've watched and you feel like you've learned a little bit about you know the autoresponder that you came here to learn about, go ahead and click subscribe. And, uh, and you'll get many more videos like this. I do many, many videos that teach you how to do email marketing as well. I've got an entire playlist that just teaches like tricks of how to like actually make email marketing work for you and your business. So I'll stop harping on it. Click subscribe.